Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you today? How's life in your world? How's things where you are? I hope everything is fantastic. After like a week of 70s and 80 degree weather, it's now like 50 here again. Strange, but that's living in the mountains. Um, NaNoWriMo is still underway and I'm now, uh, I think we're on day 12. And so I've been living with this Asus Chromebook for almost two weeks and I wanted to talk about it and whether it does or does not meet um, the goal that I had for this particular machine in conjunction with NaNoWriMo. Uh, I got this on the Saturday before NaNoWriMo. This is the Asus C423NA-WB04. We got this particular model because it's what Walmart had. That's it, that's the entire reason. Um, I did not purchase this, M, my girlfriend purchased this for me, uh, because she knew that I wanted to start writing, and I explained to her that I was looking for a Chromebook specifically because I wanted a distraction-free writing solution. So, for me, what I needed was essentially a word processor. If you don't know what that is, when I was a kid, before computers were everywhere, um, and they were ridiculously expensive, you could buy a word processor, which was essentially a typewriter that had a screen on it. And you could type on the screen, and then when you were ready, you could put a piece of paper and hit print, and it would start printing, and you could just print. Uh, some of them even had the tractor feed, which was these boxes of paper that just pulled out this long, you know, they were, and then you would, there was perforated paper, you would tear the paper. And that's really all it did. Uh, some fancy brother models had dictionaries built in. You could look words up and that sort of stuff, but it was really clunky and hard to do, so barely anybody used those functions. Um, and some of them had fonts, so you could choose between a few fonts. A Chromebook, if you don't know what a Chromebook is, it is essentially a laptop that runs Chrome OS, which is uh, very, very similar to Android OS, which is on your phones. Um, it's not necessarily based on it, but they they kind of go hand in hand. And the real shining, you know, star of Chrome OS is the Chrome web browser. Most things you're going to do on this laptop run in Chrome browser, uh, or they are certain Android apps that can run on this. It's a Linux-based OS, and uh, it's you know specifically made for Google Cloud, I guess you would say. I purchased it because of that, because it doesn't, I can't install all of the normal distraction apps on it that I would have on a laptop. Um, and there's a bit of a caveat there because a lot of the distraction stuff, Twitter, Facebook, um, Discord, YouTube, um, a lot of those things work just fine in a browser and you could just open them and run them no problem on this Chromebook. Uh, so some of it is discipline. Part of that discipline is that I don't know my passwords to any of those services, and I use a password generator that is not built into Chrome to generate my passwords, and it's stored in my Dropbox. So unless I install Dropbox on here, I have no access to my passwords, and they're usually 24 characters and they're a pain in the butt to type in, so I just don't pull my phone out, look it up, and try to type in this 24-digit password. So part of it is just, I made it difficult for myself to access the distraction apps. A um, little bit about this laptop, it is a uh, 4 gigabit RAM, I think it has like 64 gigs of hard drive space, solid state hard drive. Uh, it has a um, 768 display, so it's not 1080p, which is a little bit strange, and the display is kind of bad. I'm not going to say it's bad, it's fine, but it, it, it has very, very, very shallow viewing angles. Like, you really have to be staring straight at the screen, and, I, and when I'm typing, when I'm working at, the, like, say, the kitchen table a lot, um, I have, if I decide to sit back, I have to tilt the monitor, or everything gets kind of dark, and it becomes difficult to read. Um, as far as launching Google Docs, which is what it's intended to do, works great. Google Docs runs perfectly fine, no hiccups, no slowdowns. Um, other websites that require a little bit more heavy lifting do noticeably run slower. Uh, the processor that is in here is a dual-core Celeron, which is an older, older generation 
uh, processor. So it's not fast. It's, it's f fast enough, but it's not fast. It's not going to load stuff up like a modern, you know, fully fledged PC. But this is $270. What, what are you expecting, right? It, it's, it's a bare, bare, bare bones machine. Uh, I have not tried to do any video conferencing. It does have a camera and microphone. I have no need for that for writing a book. All I've been doing so far is writing. And then um, I have uh, the NaNoWriMo website up so that I can keep, you know, use my log there. I have dictionary.com up so I can use uh, that when I need to look up a word. And maybe Google if I need to. Um, the Chrome OS on this particular laptop, there are multiple desktops. Like I was saying, this is where I'm writing my book. I can four finger swipe. Um, well, did one of my, did my desktop go away? Oh, I can four finger swipe over to my next screen. On this screen, I have, say like there's my NaNoWriMo and I can four finger swipe back to my book and continue typing. So I can set up multiple desktops. I don't know if there's a limit to how many, but it doesn't seem to be. Uh, the Bluetooth on here works great. I have connected my headphones and listened to some music. I also have a Bluetooth mouse that works perfectly fine on it. Actually, uh, I have a very expensive Microsoft Bluetooth mouse on my Dell laptop that work provides, and that thing loses connection constantly, and I'll have to wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and wiggle. The mouse on this, never a problem. I've never had an issue with it. It works perfectly. Uh, the battery life is amazing. It, it's probably a good 10 hours of working time. Um, I don't, my screen brightness is turned pretty far down because I don't like bright things. Uh, that is also, you know, that is obviously a contributing factor. But I think that if you're looking for a machine to write on, this little guy at $270 is perfect. The keyboard I'm not going to say, you know, this isn't a MacBook. I don't, it's not, it's, this isn't the greatest machine ever. Um, it's all plastic. This is not metal. This is plastic. Um, it's, it's extremely lightweight, very thin, easy to move around. The keyboard, it, it, it types wonderfully. The key feel is okay. The trackpad doesn't really have any grip to it. Uh, the Dell trackpad that I have has, a, you can texture. This is kind of just a slick thing. But for the price, for what I wanted, basically a portable typewriter, this thing is wonderful. I took it with me tonight to go to uh, my daughter's doctor appointment, and I wrote there uh, on my lap. Works perfectly. There's no fans in this because it doesn't get hot. Uh, the processors that are in here are, you know, basically just self-cooling, just some heat sinks. So you can actually put this on your lap, which is something you should not do with modern laptops. But this can be worked on your lap and you're not going to, probably not going to overheat it. Um, for me, for NaNoWriMo, it's been flawless. It's been absolutely perfect. The fact that I just open the screen, start typing, everything works. It's already syncing to my cloud, so I don't have to worry. If I want to pull my phone out and type, I can do that. If I want to use a different browser on a different laptop, I can load it and I can keep working on my book there. I love all of those things, and that's exactly what I wanted. For my particular purposes, this machine is absolutely flawless. I love it. Um, the battery charges super quick, it lasts super long, and I can type a book on it. That's exactly what I wanted. And, again, specifically for writing, it keeps my it keeps my little grubby fingers out of all of those di those distraction apps. I don't I don't have them on here. You could put them on here, and you would just be in the same boat as normal. But for me, I left it bare bones. Uh, that being said, my NaNoWriMo has been going great. Uh, I I wrote today. I have no clue how much I wrote today. Uh, I am currently sitting at nineteen thousand eight hundred and forty nine words. So I'm a couple hundred words short of today's goal. Um, I only had about 40 minutes to write while I was sitting there waiting on her doctor appointment. So I'm going to do some more writing tonight and get caught up. Um, tomorrow, I think I have a bit of a different topic to talk about. And it'll still be about NaNoWriMo. So thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and being amazing friends and wonderful people. I really appreciate you. And I will see you again uh, tomorrow. Today's word you should notice sounds smart is demure. It is a verb meaning to make an objection on the grounds of scruples. Assent and you are sane. Demure, you are straightway dangerous and handled with a chain. Emily Dickinson, an American poet. Demure, D-E-M-U-R.